one second. I think I might have fixed the stand, kind of. Well, I'll save the head downstairs. Let me see if we're live. This one's the monitor over here. Oppa saying hello. What's up, Oppa? What do you need? You need something? I'm trying to do straight. You got food, you got water, you cannot be nuisance, please. Life is hard enough. Give me one second, put them all in on, guys. Oh, man. Hopefully that's good enough. Okay, can you guys see? Is that like too shadowy? Sorry about this. How's everybody doing? Long time no see. Oh man, this lighting is not doing good. Let's see what I can do here, guys. Sorry about that. It's just daytime. And it's very, uh, it's very light out. How's everybody doing? Okay. Oh man. <laughs> First off, I gotta apologize to everybody. I, I've been slacking. I know, like, I'm not keeping up with emails and I'm just way behind. So, like, a, a little over a week and a half ago, uh, middle of the night, I thought someone broke into the house, grabbed my gun and everything, you know. And he just boof, and it sounded like a dying cat. Well, it turns out the puppy, you know, he slipped on the wood floor. You know, the wood floor, so the puppy, they, uh, they just don't do too great. And he was just spread out. Uh, he, you know, you don't know if he pulled a muscle or subluck something in the spine, he had an infection. But it was, it was rough. <laughs> it was rough. So, you know, the puppy was basically crippled. And I put him in... I, you know, I only have a motorcycle out here, guys. So I had, and this is the middle of nowhere still. So in order to get into the vet, I had to find a, the, the drunk taxi. It was the only ones who would take me. The ones that like, you know, when the people, you know, the hicks are all like drunk at night. And <laughs> there's a special car service you call them. And they were nice enough to give me the ride to the vet. So I put him in a duffel bag and carried him to the vet that way. So he was in the, a gimp harness and I had to like carry him by the back and like, it, it was just, it was crazy. So I'm giving him massages every day and medicine and all this stuff. But luckily, the puppy's doing good now. He just started walking on his own again yesterday. So, you know, thank the gods, the puppy's okay. But if anybody wants to donate to the puppy, uh, the cash app link will be in the description. I haven't put it up yet. When I finish the stream, I'll fix it. Um, so yeah, so that's been that. I am exhausted, you know. And then, you know, obviously he's peeing on his bed, puking everywhere. So it's just been a lot. So that being said, you know, Puppy's doing right, he's sleeping now, so we're back on track. And hopefully I'll be able to get back to humanity soon. <laughs> it's just been, it's been a lot. Um, okay, as for uh, the YouTube update, something is seriously wrong with YouTube, guys. Like, seriously wrong. And i like you to go to my uh, community tab where I posted some images where the like discrepancy on videos, right? And I, I, could, I, just, I have, look, I have screenshots of this happening to me for years, like I'm on some kind of like government experiment, all right? So, you know what I mean? It, it's, it's kind of ridiculous. But, you know, in the back end, it'll show I have like 30 likes on a video, and then you go and see the public views, only one or two. Now, on a video with a thousand views to have two likes publicly, you know, on just alone, that's, that's wrong, okay? So even if YouTube isn't broken, the fact that you, you know that many people are watching and not subscribing and not interacting is you know it, it's showing that the community is very broken. Okay, like I know a lot of you guys appreciate what I do. You tell me all the time, but you know I've noticed that good people don't stand up for each other until the very end. Okay, and you can see this play out over and over and over again in the history of humanity and just recent history, where. You know, the good, good people won't stand up and won't reach out to, the, you know, to other good people or do things for each other, you know, until it's too late or until it's the very end or so there's no other choice, you know. And if I can't get you guys to even interact properly, you know, I, you know, I don't know what to do. So, but what, what's been happening to me is so obscene, okay. It's, it's, um, it's bizarre land, you know what I mean. Now, if I wasn't built different, you know, like I've lived in this world and not of it my entire life, you know. Even when I had family, I was an orphan. 
know what I mean? So I've always lived this very strange, um, even when I was very popular, when I had thousands of followers and fans, and I was doing, you know, performances and stuff, I've always been this wandering monk guy. So I, I don't think these controllers realize, you know, that I'm incorruptible, you know what I mean? Like they know I'm a divergent, but I don't think they realize the level of incorruptibility I have. But, you know, I won't be swayed, I can't be bought, and, you know, I, I, I just don't care. <laughs> You know, like I, I, I serve, you know, the most highs. <laughs> so, you know, what are you going to do to me? It hasn't been done to me already, you know? But, yeah, that's basically where we're at with that. So, the fact that, you know, it's the, the level, it makes, it makes it realize how important my position is to humanity. That so many, will use so many resources over so many years to try to stop me just from speaking and inspiring people. You know? It's, um, it's a scary thought, and I have new friends who I see, and, you know, I, I see the same thing happening worldwide in many communities, you know, and it's very sad what's happening to everyone, and what's coming soon is going to be difficult, you know, and it doesn't matter how, it, what they do or how it plays out, you know, if it's organic or if it's planned, it's, it doesn't matter. What matters is how people um, see each other and how people come together, you know? And the infections of morality across the board, right, left, and center, and mine's all about political. I'm talking about spiritual. Then you have the left-hand path and the right-hand path, okay? You have the, like, the, the good teams and the bad teams, you know? You have the, you know, talking about the argument and the other, you know, so it's like, you, you know what philosophy you go to, you have a left side and a right side, you know? And the good guys in any place, they've lost, <laughs> How do I say that? When I say, you know, many times I tell people about everyone has to fight in this world, right? I don't always, it doesn't mean physically fight. However, the starting point is learning how to physically fight, right? Because it, it takes away the primal fears that you have in your body. When you know you can, like, you don't have to be a great fighter or be able to, like, beat up UFC guys, but the fact that you have some confidence that you can, like, attempt to defend yourself changes the, your perspective on life. You know what I mean? You don't have to be this great, you know, Superman fighter guy. But the fact that you, you know, you know how to block a punch, you know how to throw one back, it gives you a sense of security in your soul <laughs> that you can start to think differently. You understand? That was always the the, the goal. I tried to, you know, aside from the historical reference of Tai Chi as a martial art, a real martial art, a boxing system. Um, the whole point is a bedrock for spirituality, right? To, to, you know, because when you have to work that hard to beat yourself yesterday every single day, it, it changes the way you look in the perception of the world, okay? You know, I, I, this is why so many people here, even the they don't understand me. You know, I, I, my philosophy of life is so obscure, I'm an alien to people, you know? Even people who are spiritual, I'm an alien to them, they don't understand me. And I don't, I don't blame them, I'm gonna get mad, you know, it's a little disappointing, you know, it kind of hurts my feelings a little bit, but I, I understand. Let me turn this uh, do not disturb on. Sorry, guys, I, f I forget, you know. I got, I got hit in the head a lot in my life. But, uh, <laughs> excuse me. Like, I, I, look, you can see that the, the way my content changed because honestly, I've been, I've been under attack <laughs> for many, many years for many, many reasons, okay? But, if you look historically, anyone who tries to do good for the communities or, you know, uh, be a philosopher or, or some kind of spiritual leader or anybody who's good for anybody that's attacked in this world, okay? It just, it, that's how you know you're doing good. The level of attacks that I've received across the board from high and low, and I mean high places, I mean like really, like you would be terrified. <laughs> you would be terrified. If I didn't have such faith in, in seeing things, you know, I probably wouldn't have made it out, you know, like, you know, the levels of these, like, <laughs> you know, I, if I told you the truth of what actually, you would not believe me, you know. Point, the point thing is this, you know, if I, I, I changed the content because I, you know, I saw the need in the world, like, you know, we are, as a, as a human species, under attack whether it's some conspiracy or through, you know, organic by, our, by ourselves, 
you know, we're, we're under attack, you know, it's a spiritual war. I mean that philosophically, right? Because you don't have to believe in, you know, metaphysics. You can look at spirituality as a metaphor, right, for psychology, right? So whether you believe it physically or metaphysically, the answer is all the same. You know, it's, it's a spiritual war. We're being attacked fundamentally on vir virtues and value, right? And how people interact with each other, how people stand up for each other. You know, and I've always tried to be an example that way. You know what I mean? Like, because if, if I let them corrupt me and I give up on my honor and virtue and I give up, even if it means I have to freaking, you know, sacrifice myself, you know, giving the last bit of everything I have or wind up with nothing, I don't have a choice. You know, somebody has to do it and make the last stand for, for morals. <laughs> you know, and that's why you'll see me defending people I don't even know. You know what I mean? Because it's, it's the right thing to do. You know, and I, I just don't understand how people don't do that also. You know, I would appreciate I, seeing some of you guys that are fanboys and girls and people, you know, like, you know, you don't have to do much. <laughs> you know, like the video, share, subscribe, you know, things like that, you know, but I, it would be nice. You know, that's all I'm saying. It would be nice to see, you know. Um, but yeah, the idea with this YouTube and the shadow banning thing, it's such a ridiculous comical level at this point that they're so scared of my voice getting out. They're so scared. <laughs> and they should be. But, you know, what's going to happen is inevitable. Like, you know, we can't, there's a, there's a point of faith we can't change. And I think there's something to realize that it is what it is. You know, what's going to happen is going to happen. But, um, yeah, so that's basically that. If you look at that, those pictures and you see that there should be a, a serious issue where you see somebody, anybody, if you, you don't like me, let me say this really clearly, whether you like me or not, you should be standing up for me right now. Trolls included. Because what they're doing to me, I'm the canary in the coal mine. Okay? Whether it's intentional or the system is that flawed. How do I have a video with 30 likes on the back end and two likes on the front end? And I, I think I have screenshots when those likes were public. So they're removing views, removing likes, counts, it's, it's manipulation, but maybe it's just that the system is so broken and not doing their job, but either way, it's a serious problem. Because if they're doing it to me, they're doing it to all of you. That means there's, that means there's money being stolen from you guys, that means that there's, you know, like, our, our ability to come together as communities is being messed with, because we have no other way to communicate with each other anymore. You don't even have any landline phones anymore. So, we're dependent on these systems to work in the way that they're described. They, you know, and you really look at the content that I put out, I always follow the rules. You don't want to put fly, I'll, I'll concede, I don't talk political stuff. Whatever it is, I do all the rules. Why am I still being messed with? Right? So you gotta say, you know, there's market manipulation. I, I'm being kept by everybody. Like, it's, it's, if, I, if you knew the real history, like, you know, to tell you and not sound crazy is very difficult. <laughs> you know? It's just, it's a very different situation to be in. But, um, yeah, that, that's where I'm at with that. Okay, um, so enough with that stuff. Just get ready, guys. You know, get ready because it's gonna come from all ends, and it's gonna come from all ends really fast. And even you guys who don't like me or your little trolls and whatever, you, I, we're in trouble, guys. Okay, like humanity is in trouble. It doesn't matter if it's a conspiracy theory or people are just like broken fundamentally. But we're in trouble. We need to we need to do something. Okay, people need to come together and start thinking like a you know like a tribe of humanity, you know. And you got like like all your stupidity and your like he's like nonsensical. I, it's so funny people competing with me, and I'm like you're all out of breath. Like you need an inhale. I'm like I'm not even in the race. I'm not even competing with you guys. I I I, I don't understand. <laughs> I just don't understand. Like and then you know you guys are like all stealing from me, not giving me credit and like. Like laughing at, like laughing at, like, you know. <laughs> I, let me go into the short thing, guys. So I made shorts because people were asking, and then uh, Shirley from uh, Aping was suggesting that I do it. And I tried to explain to you guys the level of restrictions and how broken my channel and my ability to access people is. I posted in the community tab screenshots where they ignore my tags and, and literally put blackhead back pimples, uh, skateboards, like, John Cena, like random, random things that my shorts are being pushed to, okay? Like, it's it just nonsense. And then on another level, I'm giving people snapshots of good theory that they're gonna take 
and they're gonna, and you see the people who steal from me who want to be, you know, instant masters and gurus, okay? And they, they lose the essence. So the whole point of what I was trying to do was fix the problem in, in Tai Chi, you know, in, in martial arts in general, because it's been, society is degrading as a whole, and the warrior culture degrades this valley. What do we have left? You know? Like, there's so many, like most of what martial arts is now is completely fake. You can't think that you're a martial artist if you're training, like, one-hour sessions, like, one, you know, one to three days a week, you know, and then you get, like, some kind of forced black belt because you, you showed up. This is happening everywhere. It's happening in jiu-jitsu. It's happening everywhere, okay? Just that the MMA guys, they have, like, the marketing numbers behind them so they're protected. But the reality is that the warrior cultures lose that, you know, the, his, the heritage. There's nothing left. It's like taking pizza away from New York City. You know, uh, that was really uh, my, my, my purpose here, you know? But then I have people who, you know, they don't understand. Like, they, I, I, I just, I, I'm so flabbergasted is the word, that people don't understand that what they're, I, that how they're living and how broken they are fundamentally. You're not martial artists. Like, you don't have the philosophy, you don't live the, the codes of any kind. You don't train hard enough. All you do is like, you know, you, you copy, you know, little, they even have like whole segments of martial arts that like went into those like tricking and doing like acrobatic stuff. You know, there's, there's no soul left. You know what I mean? And it's hard, it, you have to suffer, but it's like, you wanna be a martial artist? Like you should have the same indomitable spirit and will as a Navy SEAL, okay? You have to think like, <laughs> that, this is what I'm trying to explain to you guys. Like, you know, the, the, the essence is missing, and that warrior culture essence is what makes good people. It's what you have to be brave to be compassionate and have empathy. All these trolls and guys that come to my channel and the fake accounts and all the nonsense, these guys are, are, are the scourge of the earth. They're like the weakest links in humanity. You know what I mean? Like, we're in serious trouble, <laughs> like fundamentally as a, as, as a society. You know, we, and, and I, I don't know how to, how to change it, I and mean, they keep trying my best. As long as I'm gonna go into the real fall off guys, but I'm gonna be honest with you, I really don't wanna be here anymore. Okay, I don't wanna do this, you know, I, I hate you guys, not you, like my fans and stuff, but the system is so, it's just disgusting, okay? I'm like, you know, it's like, ugh. And I go outside and I see people and you can see that the spirit is so dim, you know what I mean? Like they, they have no chi. <laughs> You know what I mean? And even the good people who have good hearts, they're, they're weak. You know, they, they, they don't come together when their own people are hurting, you know? They, they, it's kind of like, a, I don't know, like a, a herd of zebra or something. And like when the weak one is like limping, they just let him like be like bait for the lions, <laughs> you know? And they're not realizing that they're lions that were, you know, convinced to be zebras. <laughs> I just thought it was so confusing. <laughs> okay, well anyway, enough of that rant. I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say. But the stuff with the YouTube, you know, honestly, there has to be something else to get done, you know? And I'm so tired of fighting and I, you know, I don't want to be a martyr for, for ingrates and people who are completely asleep anyway, you know? Because I'm like, I have a good, I have a, I have a really good case. And you know, <laughs> it's not gonna be the Section 230 stuff. It's not gonna be any, it's not gonna be any of that nonsense political stuff. It has nothing to do with politics. It has nothing to do with censorship. Okay, this is market manipulation. This is deprivation of rights. Okay, there's a whole bunch of federal offenses that are being committed against me. Right, and you know it's causing me serious physical, mental, and emotional distress. But it is what it is. Okay, so to so the questions, um, one guy in the comments had asked me, um, how do I explain uh, Najin without the woo science? And I'm gonna have to tell you straight. Quickly, I mean, oh, the chat has been broken. I don't know if anybody said hi or anything. I haven't been paying attention, sorry. But, Najin isn't really, in my opinion, a jinn on its own, in the sense that it's not something you physically uh, manifest and control, right? Like a kinetic force you control, so that's separate. It's an effect, right? So it's a perceived energy from the opponent, not from you. And what I mean by that is that the effect of seizing someone's 
body or joints or ligaments, whatever it is, is a combination of all the basic fundamentals that are stacked together and are happening at once. Right? So you have to, when you have all of the pieces together, you have the root, you have the you know sung, you have you know uh, you know a basic pun jam, you have your tangent, your listening skills, you know, you have your sticking, leading, following, it happens accidentally most of the time. Okay? So that's the first level is it's like when you when you have all the core elements of, of real Tai Chi training and you touch someone because of the conditions of their body, the alignment and tension touching you and your condition, it creates a, a, almost an automatic seizing effect on their body when it's done correctly. Okay. However, there are ways to project forces on certain lines that will create seizing effects. However, they're still stacked upon the prerequisite conditions of the form. Okay. So that was the other thing. So I hope that is the answer that he was looking for. But I can't do a video on Najin's and explaining the you know, as an individual thing because I don't believe it is an individual thing. Okay, it's a, an effect that happens from all the other conditions being applied, and then you know, at one point you add a force to a line and they get stuck. Okay. But most of the time, it, it says you'll notice on contact, as soon as I touch the person, a part of their body gets seized up. Unless they're a very high level and they understand neutralizing and all the other stuff that negates it on the contact, you're, you're going to feel stuck immediately somewhere in your body as soon as I touch you. Right? Only like, you know, really trained guys are not going to have that effect. You know what I mean? So that's, that's how that works. Okay. Um, is that it? Yeah, that was that. There was another one. I wanted, I, there was two more. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so tired. <laughs> Yeah, I spent a couple of days sleeping on the floor with the dog. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm a mess. <laughs> so, I, I'm sorry for rambling. But I'm exhausted, guys. I'm really tired. Um, okay, so that was the Najin thing. Then there was something else. What were they talking about? Jeez. I'm trying to catch up. And, and I apologize to everybody who's been emailing me. But I'm so behind. I'm so tired. Like, I'm so tired. So, please forgive me. All right? <laughs> I'm like, beat up, man. Uh, and I'm trying to like you know get in shape again and do the, the stuff. Um, if anybody has in the chat, you have any questions and talk about what the hell's what to say? Because I don't want to sign off without getting all the answers and running. So I don't know when I'm gonna come back on. But if any of you are here listening, I can't see the calendar from here. But if you have any questions, you know, feel free to ask. I'm gonna try to remember what I was supposed to say. With the whole shift of three hours, four hours sleep, does that do my brain good? <laughs> what was the other thing? Jeez. Oh, God. Too many concussions, not enough sleep. I, I'm forgetting people's names of talking about this happening for the last like three weeks. Like, I, I, my friends in my other Discord, I, I know them for years. I'm talking to her. I'm like, what the hell is your name? I just can't remember your name right now. Because <laughs> they have like handles, you know? I, like, I couldn't remember her real name for life before in two days. Oh my god. Stress, guys. You know, this is what it is. What was the other one? There was some other topic that was, uh... God. I don't remember. I don't remember. I, I just know that I'm so behind in the emails, you know, with the pop ends, it's too much stress, I can't. Keep up. And also, my phone is not giving me the notifications for the email. It's a little weird thing. But at least the puppy's safe. He's happy. Uh, I guess if I can, <laughs> if I can remember, because there's so many questions in the comments. I think I've answered them all. But there was a couple of um, corrections I wanted to make, and I just can't. I can't. I'm going through the comments in my head right now, <laughs> and I, I think I've answered all of them. There's a couple that I wanted to clarify. All right. None of you guys have anything to ask? Nothing. No. I'll, I'll wait a second, see if anybody, because uh, I, I know there's a couple, couple, but I see the counters moving up and down, I can't see how many people are here. Um, what was the other one? Jeez, give me a second. What should we, uh... God, there were so many things and videos I've been seeing also, like a couple of weeks going by. One was about martial art, like the, like how um, traditional karate, you know, people say, that they're training for 
uh, untrained fighters, and some of these guys are saying that you, you know, oh, that was blocking someone. But yeah, okay, that was one. But they're saying that why would you train for an untrained fighter, and, and, I, and you know, the techniques are useless in traditional martial arts. And I think people misunderstand this because people are so many years away from warrior culture and fighting, real fighting, like actual like combat for your life, not sport context, that they don't even know what to talk about either. The techniques in traditional martial arts are meant to maim and kill someone on contact. They really are supposed to be so dangerous that you can't use them in sport. When you see in karate in the old time when they first started point fighting, right? There was a lot of restriction that if you look at the history, people were getting maimed, okay, in sport competition. You have a very limit, limited set of techniques that are allowed to be used in the old traditional days of the sport fighting. Because, look, these guys were able to break trees and bricks, okay? Like, I used to, like, go to, and I was like the last generation of the hardcore people, so I would go, I would do some tournaments. I, I, look, I didn't want to be a sport fighter. I already fought so much in the street that I thought sport fighting was nonsense, but I did it because, you know, oh, it's experience, you have to do it, and let's show up. But I would go with competitions, and when I tell you, like, international teams, like, I would go a couple of years, they would make a joke, because I would break so many boards at once that it was a running joke that the Army-Navy team, the teams from Germany, they would come by and stack their wood on top of me and have me do, like, sign the autographs. It was like a running joke, and... I would, they, the judges would come up to me and say, listen, everybody knows you won, but we have to give the trophy to the team from Germany because they flew all the way in. You know, like, it, things like that, you know, like, <laughs> so this is why I stopped competing, and it, it's just nonsense, the whole thing is just, anytime there's money or prestige involved, there's always corruption, so, but again, I always thought the martial arts was meant, I really lived the philosophy, so I always was trained that's meant to protect people you know, not to, like, show off, okay? Which is, like, my mistake. It's like, you know, I, I, I hid so much of my ability over the years to make feel, people feel comfortable and, you know, to not, you know, to be humble. You know, people don't understand, you know? So the point I'm trying to make is, if that's what I was able to do, and I'm the last of those generations, I, and compared to those guys, I was not touching the generation before me. Like, they were fucking scary, okay? So what I'm trying to get to is that the traditional techniques are meant to maim and kill on contact, okay? And people say, oh, you I can't. No, I mean, like, if I punch you in the face, you are not gonna be happy for the rest of your life. Your fucking life is gonna be changed forever, okay? This is why I don't fight, because when I hit people, bad things happen. That's what real martial arts is, okay? It's, it's a completely different context, you're training, to hit your two knuckles and, and smash solid objects like bricks. Your body can't handle that shot. <coughs> so you guys, first off, are not training like they trained 100 years ago. So you can't say the martial arts bad, okay? First of all, martial arts, styles don't fight styles. People fight people and under the condition that they train, okay? And even then, there's an element of luck and randomization that happens in life, okay? The best fighters in the world can get beat up by a little girl on accident, she kicks him in the nuts, okay? So you, 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 there's a lot of delusion in people's minds of how things actually work in reality. But going to the point of context in, in real martial arts and, and what it's meant to do, martials pertain to warfare and arts to see perfection of. You know, if you are a training on traditional martial art for three to years to the rest of your life and you don't have full confidence, you have one technique that no human being can withstand that shot. You are not a martial artist. And you're not a pacifist. Because in order to be a pacifist or be peaceful, you must be able to commit extreme violence and choose not to. Because you need the choice, all right? You have to have the ability to know you have that ability and, and to choose not to. That makes you a pacifist. That makes you the person. Someone who doesn't have a choice, you know, are you really good or you just, you know, you have no choice? <laughs> And many of those people tend to be the most devious people on the planet. They'll cut you when you're not looking. They're very altruistic and they smile to your face and they'll do all these good deeds, but in the background, they'll cut you, okay? Like, they'll, they'll do horrible things, you know? So, I, I, that's not the deal. So anyway, going back to the point, you can't 
compare these martial arts that were done a hundred years ago to how anyone's practicing now to see the martial arts bad. It's nonsense. You're not prepared to do that kind of training, like how they did in the movies. And you think, oh, it's only the movies. No, they, the movies came from somewhere. That was real. Uh, like standing on the poles or walking on the poles, like what are, people do that. I did it. Uh, okay? There's actually a video of me doing it somewhere, like from like the 90s of in the beach on these, like, what, like sparring on them. <laughs> so I, I can tell you people do it, but I did it, you know? But the, the point is, like, you know, there's a lot of misconceptions on all sides, and you have to start thinking if you, it's a real martial art, you have to treat it like a real martial art. Don't play make believe, you know, say, you know, you do make believe, which is fine, you know, you want to do a hobby, you want to do dancing, that's great. But you're not helping anybody but your, yourself and your ego, you know, and most of the masters I've seen that are getting allowed to get recognition right now, and I'm not saying everybody has to be a fighter, please, you know, but even people who aren't fighters are, are fighters. If you see that they they're they're putting in the work every day, they're really studying, they're trying to help people. That's a fight, you know. To maintain your morals and your integrity is a fight, you know. To to, to not be sick is a fight, <laughs> okay? Like there's always a fight. You know, it's a question of how you deal with it, you know. But you really should be trying to beat yourself yesterday every single day, somehow, you know. Beat yourself yesterday every day. That's the most important thing, you know. But um. Yeah, that was, that was uh, a concern I was saying, because like, so many people would say this thing, oh, you know, traditional martial arts, oh, oh, you have techniques that you can take them out. Oh. And no, like, let me punch you in the face, see what happens. <laughs> let me punch you in the throat, see what happens. Okay? <laughs> like, let, let's, let's see. <laughs> let's see if it's not real. You know, let me punch you in the ribs, see what happens. Okay? Like, no, you're not taking the shot. Let me throw a sidekick full force at you with the soul plex and the floating rib and see how you feel about it. You know what I mean? Like, no, you're going to go down. <laughs> Everybody goes down the same way, including me. You get hit with that shot, you're going down. <laughs> okay? That's it's a real deal, you know? The next thing was, um, I don't remember who it was, but there's like, in like the combatives scene, there's this guy, you know, a couple, like this one guy, blockhead guy, talking about how Jiu Jitsu is the best martial art for street defense, and his argument was like, oh, if I get into a fight, I can run. <laughs> and I'm like, these white boys have never lived in the hood, they've never been robbed, they've never been jumped, they don't understand real violence. You can't run, okay? You can't run. And in fact, when you get ambushed, which is a lot of how those things happen, <coughs> there's no one to run to. If you're at a gas station and one to three guys just run up on you, you don't have time to run away. There's no one to run to, there's no one going to save you, okay? There's no way to go. And if you turn around and someone has a knife on you, or you're going to get stabbed or shot. There's no running. There's no pulling guard. There's no jujitsu. There's no freaking no. It doesn't work. Okay? It works in their delusional mindset. Okay? And they're like, oh, you do jujitsu best thing for fighting. Huh? No, it's not. It's not. Jujitsu is not the best thing. Jujitsu is, is an article, a tool that goes into your toolbox and is not a complete martial art. I can jujitsu maybe. But Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, no. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu has been too geared to a sport context to be considered real-life self-protection. It is not. Okay? And a lot of these people are delusional. I'm going to say straight up, yo, go in the hood. Yo, test it. I guarantee you, you go through the hood and start talking shit. There'll be plenty of people who want to find out. <laughs> they want to find out. I promise you. <laughs> go to New York and just hang out. Go to New York. Go to the old neighborhood. And, you know, just say, yo, what's up? <laughs> Everybody wants to play, bro. <laughs> so you're going to find out real quick what works and what doesn't work. And it, it's not, no, okay? And, and again, I respect the sport greatly. I've trained in it. I've, you know, trained, I've played with some champion guys. They're great people, and they work really hard. And the techniques are solid for certain conditions. But to try to use that to dismiss the traditional, real martial arts, not traditional where I just wear some fancy uh, little silk pajama or something and then go around and say this is like a real thing. You know, playing karate for an hour or two a week and showing off. No, it's not traditional martial arts, okay? It's, if it's not dealing with maiming and killing people to protect yourself, your country, and your family, it's not martial arts. You have to have techniques that incapacitate people instantly and you have to be morally sound to, to guard them so that bad people don't get them, <laughs> you know? So that's, that's the deal. Excuse me. 
The next thing was um, this guy, he's that ex-cop guy, he was you know, and you know, a lot of his theories really good, but he was talking about how blocking doesn't work in the fight. And it's, it's nonsense. And his, his, um, his ex ex example was he's just going to shield and take space. Shielding is blocking closer to your body. So instead of me catching a technique and shielding up with a frame farther away, I'm just going to bring the frame close to my head and move in. They're both viable options. The idea that people, they're always looking to see what's different and what makes them so special. And my whole thing was to try to see what's the same that makes us unify. <laughs> it's that simple, okay? Blocking works. I can tell you I've blocked many things in my day, okay? I, I can promise you it works, <laughs> okay? I, but you have to train it at the same intensity as a professional sport fighter. And you're not going to get the amount of input stimulus and, and intensity in these McDojos. Okay? You, you, it's not going to happen, guys. You cannot, and you're, you've got to think, you're playing karate. You're not, if you're going to do it, you have to simulate the military experience. And this is what nobody wants to do. Simulate how these will train them. How they train the Korean bodyguards. You have to simulate that level of intensity in order for these things to work. Okay? You have to be willing to possibly get punched in the face a few times, okay, and actually go and constantly drill this stuff. Oh, it's not going to work for you. Okay? It's not going to work. And you can't say it's the moosh moosh bad. No, you didn't train under the conditions that the martial art was invented by. Tai Chi now is nothing compared to Tai Chi in the old days. And I was so lucky to train with so many different people, obscure masses from different lineages that you don't even know the names of. So to feel the differences, because there's no unified body, right? To feel the differences in the intensity and the power levels and the scary level of how when you get touched by these people and you feel like your organs are about to melt. Like, no. <laughs> and you, you can feel like the, there's the... There's, it's, it's a different world. So you've got to recognize, guys, you are not training in those conditions. You're taking, same way people rob my content, which is why I didn't want to do the shorts to begin with, right? This is going to take more of my stuff, try to dress like me, have like shittier versions of my hair, right? Try to take my inflections and my tone of my voice, you know what I mean? And because I'm shadow banned and restricted, they're getting away with it. But they're just taking fragments of it, it's like you're putting on a costume. You know what I mean? Like a, a karate kung fu costume and you're playing a game, you know, just for attention. And you don't live the path. You're not living, you're not living the path. That's why you people don't understand me. You're like, I, I, you know, I have different personalities, right? It's a Venn diagram. And you see my tough guy, Brooklyn guy, and you see my sweet, like, animal loving, like, vegan guy, and you see, like, all these different, but when you put that diagram together in the center, is this honor, virtue, and intention that they all are based around. Whatever clothing comes out of that is still on this core. Your cores are corrupt. Most of you, your, your core essence of your I am consciousness is corrupt and weak and dysfunctional. You don't work on yourself spiritually and philosophically. You have no honor. You don't know what saving face is. You don't realize like you are failing at life in so many levels. And you think it's okay because it's come commonplace to live in this narcissistic, delusional land. It's disgusting. You have, to, you have to look at yourself. And this is a mantra. My weakness offends me. My weakness offends me. Okay? You need to say this to yourself. My weakness offends me. Okay? And, and you have to fix it. And it's not, not going to be this like, oh, I'm going to do it in one day. No. You have to say this is a lifestyle choice. And every day I'm going to improve myself on every level 1%. Just 1%, guys. Every day, improve yourself and the things and people around you 1%. Okay? If that, if that was going to be my message, that life, if, if this was the last stream I ever did, is you have to say to yourself, my weakness offends me. And I need to improve myself and repeat myself yesterday and improve 1% every single day. Okay? And improve the things around me 1%. And that just means like, you know, you're, you're too depressed and lazy to do anything. Just do one thing. Just do one thing better. Just try to be nicer one time. Okay? Just once. Just one time every day. Do something nice. One time be grateful. 
okay? Stop looking to be happy and stop looking to, you know, satisfy some need and just start being grateful for simple things. It, that, that, that's my superpower. That's how I'm able to go when my, my body's breaking and bleeding in the middle of the freaking nowhere land during the lockdown. I'm still doing, like, you know, living the honorable life. Because I look at that one thing. What can I be grateful for? Well, I had to crazy glue my toe and my hand back together. I had to pull my own teeth out with a freaking wrench. You know, I'm, I'm fucking trying to scavenge for food because those shelves are empty. Okay? The lights are off. We have no running water. All right? The world's ending. <laughs> All right? And I'm still happier than most people. You know, I feel like an alien to you people. If that, that would be my message. I could leave anything behind you guys. You know, that was the whole point of, of like, the real thing of martial arts. When you really go to the core, right? You have Bushido and, and, and all these, like, you know, ethics, like, you know, Confucius and Yavas you know, and all the other, you know, ethical treaties and Buddhism and, you know, Christianity, all you know, the religions, the, you know, God of Abraham religions and, you know, Vedics and you know, all, all, these, all these philosophies, right? But the, the core of it is, you know, do no harm, take no shit, and try to improve the world to make it a better place. Right? That's the whole real point of being a warrior, right? Is that you're, you're there as a servant leader. You're there to, you know, to save the, the tribe and, and keep the, the heritage going. Right? Protect what's good from what's bad. <laughs> and to also have the discernment to know the difference. To really know the difference. Because as you can see, good people, their heart, are very easily misled and corrupted. Okay? Very easily misled. And I, I see this all the time. I, I mean, so many places. But right now, we have, you know, this war is going on, and people are taking sides. And, oh, the, and you're taking sides because somebody told you to take a side. And, oh, this is what's happening. And, and I feel the craziest thing is, after everything we've been through, you guys still believe anything you're told? It's a disgrace. Like, you know... There's no, no discernment anywhere. I, I mean anywhere. I'm not, I'm not singling out any collective of people I've been speaking to, by the way. I mean, I'm seeing this as a generality. You know, like, you can say Russia is bad, but, you know, you can say Ukraine is really bad. Okay? The Ukrainian people, are very, I, I have friends in both places. Okay? But, Ukraine is committing war crimes. Okay? They're, they're committing acts of terrorism. That the uh, drone strikes against, against like you know civilian targets in Moscow. Russia hasn't done that. Okay, I don't have a dog in the race. I'm in America. I don't care. Okay, like you know free will. Okay, I, I'm the I'm the third party observer. But when you have to look, you know objectively and see that the tactics that the Russian military have used was to maintain civilian infrastructure and completely selfishly because what it appears to be is that they want to win a war of attrition to get uh, sympathetic leadership to take over Ukraine so that it can run itself. Because it would take too many resources for them to have to you know, rebuild it and run it. So they don't want to just wipe it out. Not only that, they're genetically Russians. Okay? It used to be part of Russia. It actually was Russian territory for, for you know, a long time. So that's a whole other issue. But if you look at the tactics they're using, is actually, compared to how everybody else rages war, is pretty humane. And to see... You have the Ashford Italian guys, the Nazis in Ukraine. You can see what they're doing to children there. You can see how, you know, they're just throwing, like, troops into this meat grinder. And then they're attacking civilian targets with drones. That's terrorism. That's not warfare. There's no strategic advantage to that. So I don't think we should just be pointing anyone. We should all be saying, stop killing each other. Okay? Stop it. Everybody stop killing each other. That goes for America, wherever the hell you are, stop it. <laughs> Just stop. This is, I don't understand but the problem, and the reason I'm trying to bring this up, because it's the big example right now that I'm speaking to everybody. You, we allow our good natures to be manipulated by people with no, with no good nature. Okay? We allow our morals and our virtues to be manipulated by people with no morals and no virtue. Look at the whole, you know, sniffles. What happened with the sniffles? How many people just little sheep? Okay, okay, okay. <coughs> and, and then come on, you, you know. Oh, you know, we gotta you know, we'll come. To, come on, man. I can't. Even, I'm not even allowed to tell the truth right now. 
Okay, I'm making it loud. <laughs> and your part of me doesn't care. Because <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to be a martyr again. You guys don't deserve it. You guys don't deserve it. But we're in trouble, like we're in serious trouble, guys. And like, on so many levels, on the macro, the ma <laughs> micro, macro, meso levels, any levels, we're messed up, guys. Like, you know, we don't even have people standing up for each other in the smallest communities. You know, I see people who are like renowned in all venues who their followers will just like leave them to die alone. You know, so like, I'm sitting here thinking like, why, yo, I, I have this sense of duty obligation to keep doing this for you guys. And I know that people will appreciate it, but in the end of the day, you guys don't act like a community. You guys don't bind together. But notice who does, the bad people, the narcissists. It's like Satan figured out a way to create a hive mind of all the people who cluster B disorders. That's what it feels like. Like the adversary, you know, the reptilian aliens, whatever you want to call them, they figured out a way to get all of the cluster B people and the autistic people to walk around like a boar collective and, and attack. And the good people all scattered and can't come together and don't fight for each other or fight for any good cause, you know? And I'm not saying you have to fight with violence, but you should be able to defend yourself when you have no choice, you know? But you have to fight, you know, and sometimes fighting your favorite YouTubers. Share their content, not even just me. Like, look what you guys are doing to me. Look what these idiots are doing to me, right? And you guys don't even share the content, and you guys love me, <laughs> okay? You guys love me, and you don't even share, like, the videos, you know? So it's like, imagine on the big scale what we're dealing with. We have been really messed up mentally, you know? We're in a lot of trouble, and... Things are about to speed up and to a complete mess because there's going to be shit. If you see the Hunger Games, that's what society is run like. Okay, there, there's fractions in the elite. They don't, all the elite people aren't bad. All the billionaires aren't bad. They just, they're humans. <laughs> well, some of them. Some of them. But uh, the point is... You know, there, there's some people that, you know, want to see the complete destruction of the human race and, like, feed off of suffering and anguish and pain because they're sociopaths and they like it, okay? They actually like seeing people suffer. They like sacrificing people. And there's others on the other side who, you know, they, they're trying to do the good things, but again, good people have been trained through generations to think, oh, if I'm a good person, I must be meek. And they don't understand what the word meek really means. Meek doesn't mean weak. You should go and check out the etymology and see what it really means, okay? Do your homework. Which is why I always tell people to go back to, if you look at the Pure Land Buddhism and you look at Amitabha Buddha and you look at Kuan Yin, there's a man next to them that's everyone's forgotten his name or how to chant the name. And he has a sword, okay? Why is Amitabha Buddha and Kuan Yin flanked by a man with a sword? Why? Because in order for people to ascend out of this hell realm, someone has to stand guard over the temple, over the temple, okay? Whether the temple's a physical or your spiritual body, somebody has to guard the temple. You have to guard the temple. So philosophically, you want to look at the Trinity in your mind, right? You have your honor and your virtue, which is the mother and the father, and then you have that which comes out of it, which protects the mother and the father, okay? It's a philosophical concept. How do you protect your virtue and your intentions. If there's a storm coming, how do you protect your virtue and your intention? Right? The man with the sword represents, do you make your house out of brick or do you make your house out of straw? Okay? You have to fight the elements. <laughs> okay? Whether it's just wind and rain, you will fight in this realm. Right? Life and suffering is the first lesson of the Buddha. You will fight. Whether it's physically, emotionally, spiritually, financially, you're going to fight. And if you don't fight, you will get you become collateral damage. Okay? And good people need to learn to stick together, to stand up for each other. Okay? You, you can't just and there's actually I forget the name of it, this is uh, it's actually a thing where you see this on a train in New York all the time where someone's getting robbed or getting beat up and they'll just watch. Ooh, not my problem. Ooh, I don't know what to do. 
people. And then you'll wait until one person stands up. And that one person stands up, oh, other good people stand up. Everybody has to be their own hero before they can be a hero to other people. Let me say this again. You have to become your own hero before you can be a hero to somebody else. Okay? All my superhero power stuff, my woo-woo magic shit, <laughs> you know, what's the point? My point was that I was trying to be a hero for other people and I had to first be able to be a hero for myself. Right? That was always my goal in life. Was to, you know, like, a very young age, I swore. That was, you know, like, I, you know, I'm part of a secret society of traveling, wandering people who do, who do good deeds, okay? I know it sounds crazy, but it's true, okay? And you have to think like that. You know, you have to take the initiation, okay, and, and become a hero, you know, and you have to stop by being a hero to yourself, you know? And, like, if you're not, you know, willing to, to do the basic things to build communities and fight for your communities, and I mean, you know, put effort. That's what fighting is, okay? Effort. Kung Fu is what? Time, effort. Effort that, you know, some, a skill that takes a long time to, to build up, right? Kung Fu naturally is fighting. Right? But it's, it's efforts. Effort is work. Work is a fight. And that's what I mean by that, you know? You got, if you're a good person, you've got to start understanding. In order to be good, you cannot be nice all the time. You, you, nice is really good and good is really nice. You know? And it's, it's, it's sad to say that because people with very pure hearts, people who channel uh, very pure energies, Especially even with the spirituality, there's some people who will channel such high vibrational entities that when they're here, they cannot rationalize the workings of this world. And it's, it's, it's difficult because you want to be this perfect ideal in the borderline of the hell realms, right? It's, you have to understand the rules in this world do not match up to the rules of that. And we have to find a way to slowly bring that up that way. But if you, if you bring somebody with, who's this like, you know, perfect like angel soul with like no violent tendencies at all into this place, they will get destroyed without protection. You know, and that's what bothers me about certain groups. There's several, I'm, I'm referencing, not just one. A little bit to be offended. But they're, they're not protecting what's valuable right now. They're not binding around them and willing to sacrifice themselves to protect the light. You're not getting the point, guys. You're not getting it. You know? So that, that's like, I guess, the, 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 you know, the trick the devil pulls to make you think it doesn't exist. No, the greatest trick the devil ever pulled was to make you think that you shouldn't protect what is valuable. Go try to talk bad about the Muslim prophet and see what happens to you. Okay? Go, go around. Okay? Why is it that, you know, people who are, who I would say more pure-hearted in their manifestation in reality here, right, are not protected by the people who they serve. So how can I be offended when nobody protects me here? When people who, you know, are leaders in, in huge places have no protection, you know? Like I, there are certain things that I've, you know, I've, I've done in my life that have made me a martyr seven times over, okay? And I'm, I'm doing it again, putting my, you know, putting my ass in the line, because I know as soon as you know, I'm, I'm putting a huge target in my head <laughs> again. And, you know, I won't make it without backup. Okay? I, I've been completely cut off from, you know, I have a couple of emergency lines I can call if something goes really, really, really bad. But that's it. <laughs> you know? I'm not, I'm not going to be, uh, it's not going to be as um, easy as last time's. You know, and you guys don't even know because you, you know, my my history has been memory hole. You guys don't really understand. But um, yeah, this is not good. You know, where you guys gotta start standing up for each other and get ready because they're going to do it again. 
I'm gonna say they're going to do it again. They're just getting started. Okay? And if you believe them the second time, you deserve it. You deserve it. If you're so weak-minded and you have no discernment, you deserve what's coming for you. Okay? And I'm, I'm not calling anyone to violence. I was the first one to say, that's January 6th crap, you're an idiot. Protesting is for children. Okay? Protesting is what children do with their parents. Okay? Why are you protesting in the streets? Like, you freaking morons. You know, it... <laughs> In, in history, in all of history, when has a protest ever solved anything? The only time it ever solves anything is when someone gets their head bashed in by the police and then they sue. So why, you idiots, repeating the same patterns? Just go to court. <coughs> all these super smart people, these lawyers, are, just go start suing people. <laughs> why are you playing these games? <laughs> Why are you sitting there playing through the game? No, go do warfare. Go fight. <laughs> My stupid side. <sighs> yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't want to see people getting violent. Okay, unless there is no choice to defend yourself. And unfortunately, the way that you know, you can say whatever you want, but the leaders, like that, this global leadership that's taking over, good or bad. Their plan is to homogenize societies, to take away individual heritages. They don't want to have, you know, individual races, except for you know specific countries that are, are being pushed into having their bloodlines kept. Chinese, they don't mix. Scream racist. Japanese, racist. In fact, America is the only non-ethnic state. It's the only non-ethno state in the world. Where else in the world, other than America and now Britain? and the other countries are being forced, is that an ethno state where they have a, 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 a bloodline heritage that goes back a thousand years? Where? This is an experiment. It's not natural, okay? I'm not, I'm not saying that it's good or bad because who am I to say that? But what I can tell you is I can see, just forget about being a psychic or anything like that, you can just see the patterns that the people that are coming into our country now, the, the cultures they come from, I, you know, I've been, I was talking about this on Instagram with some, you know, uh, a black guy who was like being really racist to me, calling me a white boy, which I'm not white, <laughs> okay? And say, so what I was saying, you guys don't understand. You guys think you're tough. You don't understand what the people from South America who just walked a thousand miles and broke into this country, the kind of lives they lived. These people eat rats to survive, okay? Like they eat rats like this big to survive. They, they, Step over dead bodies in the street all the time. You, you, you guys think you're tough? You guys will all your like hood stuff? You have no idea what tough and scary is. Okay? You guys don't know. And then you have to understand these people, you know, I'm not saying everybody's bad, but I'm just saying that there's, there's cultural differences. And when you mix that into the population, you know, there's going to be a lot more instability and, and the violence. And, and, when people are starving and people have nowhere to sleep, they're going to do things, okay? It's just human nature. So it's gonna get difficult in many places. It already is happening. This is why I'm saying good people need to learn how to defend themselves from bad people, okay? And you have to be serious about it, you know? And you can't let them take your right to protect yourself away from you. Because once you have that, you're, you're that's the, that is the last freedom we have as humans, is to be able to protect our body. Okay? Like, to be able to, and, and to it go, it's like I was in New York, it was always a, a difficult, cause like, yo, you get, if you get into a fight in New York, and the guy, you could be getting attacked, and you just jump out the way and push the guy, and he hits his head in the gunkit and dies, you go to jail for manslaughter. That's the level of crazy in the laws of New York. And then, and people are saying that America is 50 separate countries, right? America is 50 separate countries. It functions that way. So if you go to, you know, Florida or other standard ground states, it's a completely different world. You step up to me, I'm going to blast you, okay? I'm going to blast you. And I have, like, you know, my, my carry insurance covers me for weapons and an empty hand, okay? I'm insured for that reason, so that if something happens, I have somewhere, you know, someone to, bet to bail me out. But, um, because it's that crazy in the world, you know? So you, you guys have to start thinking realistically what's happening. Good people need 
to start coming together now before they cut your communication channels off, before they cut your guts out anymore, you know, and make you any weaker than you are. You don't know what's going on in the world. Half the things you think are real aren't real. You know, you're supporting crazy causes that make no sense because they're pulling on your heartstrings. I mean, look, guys, I, I, I'm going to say this again. Ukraine has actual Nazis. They have, like, they're selling, you know, this is not me making it up. It's not a conspiracy theory. There's, like, bio labs and Nazis and, like, they're, they're doing things to children. They're committing terrorist acts against, like, you know, civilian populations. You know, I'm not saying Russians are good guys either, okay? But you're supporting one side over the other. You don't live there. <laughs> you don't, I, and you don't even pay attention enough to go and see what's actually happening. And I have friends in both places, you know? And, you know, there's an argument to be said that, like, there was a treaty that, you know, NATO wouldn't go into Ukraine and start pushing towards their territory. So Russia's trying to defend their country. Do I think it's right to go to war? No. War means we are right. <laughs> okay? That's why I can't say who's right or wrong. I'm not there. I don't care. I know it's wrong to kill people. Okay? It's wrong. It's wrong. You should avoid it at all costs. Okay? And there's so many people that are, like, amped up. I can't wait to go to war. It's, it, like, and I'm not saying there's a time and place. Look, I'll be the first to tell you, sometimes, you know, sometimes you want to, you know, model Amitabha Buddha, sometimes you want to model Kuan Yin, sometimes you want to model the Lord Attendant. But sometimes you have to become the Yama. Sometimes you have to become the ruler of hell and snatch fucking souls. Because sometimes there's no other choice. And you pray every single day that that, that day doesn't come. And, you know, and that's why it's important to become a warrior and a guardian, not a guardian in a war. There's too many guardians in this war. And it's a war for your souls. It's not good. Okay? And I don't know how... I don't know, but like my, my thing is this. If I get 1% of people to hear the message, they tell them the 1%, at least it gets out. You know? <laughs> all these trolls that are watching and, and like, you know, messing around. They have all the freaking government people doing their experiments on me. Like, all this crazy shit. Okay? But uh, I, and I hope I can even turn those guys watching because they know what I'm saying is right. You know, they're fighting like terrible, for the terrible teams. Like, so many of these people don't realize they're the bad guys in this fight. They don't recognize that they're the bad guy. Everybody wants to be the hero in the story. Everybody's the good guy until someone points it out that they fucked up. You know, and how many people are going to be humble enough to say, "Holy shit, I really fucked up. I spent how many years being terrible." I. I'm just following orders. I'm just following orders. How many times have you heard that line? You know? And good people do the same thing. Well, I'm just following orders. If I'm supposed to be good, oh, well, Jesus, Jesus would turn you the cheek, and, you know, Kuan Yin would, would not do this. And you guys are really mistaken because you haven't actually done the work and actually done the, the research and actually did your study. You just listen to what the rulers, the slave masters of humanity tell you it is. Jesus would have fucked you up. Jesus was not a punk. Jesus would have fucked you up. Okay? He would have he would have gone to your temple, flipped the tables, get a bottle of cords, and started whacking people, and no one would have did shit about it because he's a king. Okay? And I'm not a Christian, but I'm just saying. What the hell happens that people are convinced that this guy who flipped tables and beat the fucking shit out of people lending money and interest, how did he become a punk? How did, you know, Kuan Yin and Amitabha Buddha wind up with no guardians to protect them? Okay? So you guys got to start thinking, what, who am I? Meaning you, who am I? You know, what, where, who are we supposed to be? What is really good and bad, you know? Like, am I really being good? And, you know, it's like, at what point do I have to protect my family and my friends and, and what I believe in, you know? And... It really hurt me. I see some people in different groups. There's several. I'm not. I'm not singing anybody out. But there's several groups where, like, there are leaders who like sacrifice so much, and they're in trouble, and no one's standing up for them. And you see it everywhere. You know, like, I, I don't know, man. I just know that we have a few weeks, and if people don't. Uh, People don't change their heart real quick, man. We have rude awakenings for a lot of people. So I just, uh, I would say, stop preparing yourselves now, you know. You never know what can happen. 
you know, there's crazy weather events, okay? Um, so that whole thing in Hawaii is nuts. Okay, guys, it's just nuts. Like, you know, and I'm not in a position where I can tell you guys everything I know anymore because I'm hanging here by a thread. All right, they're looking for any reason to shut me down. So I can't tell you what I know. And my, my, my old teams are scattered all over the place. And I did that to protect them because, you know, that, excuse me. But um, it's not looking good, guys. <laughs> it's not looking good, all right? Like, you gotta say that those fires are not normal, okay? You see that happen in California, it happened in, in, in Canada. But the, this Hawaii thing is really sus, <laughs> okay? It's really sus. And then you hear reports of cops trapping people and saying we're just following orders. This just following orders shit has to stop. This just, oh, that's what I was taught. Oh, come on. Like, stop, stop. Get your heads out of your asses. You know, this isn't even slow boil the frog, okay? This is like all the frogs and the crabs are in the bucket and you're boiling and the crabs are pulling everybody back in. <laughs> like, like, it's just a mess. It's a mess, guys. I, I, I really work, like, I don't know. I don't get scared. You know, I, I, you know I'll get anxiety, but I don't, I don't get scared like normal humans do. But I would, I would say it's, uh, I'm worried for humanity, you know? I'm worried for you guys, you know? Like, and you can see, like, look at the people who come to troll, and you can see the level of intelligence that they don't have, and, like, their, their intention of why they do it, and you see it, like, there's a lot of people like that in this world that are just, like, brain damaged and, like, they're spiritually corrupt. You know, they're useless humans. And, you know, it's like a point where you, have, you want to have compassion for them. There's a point where it's like, uh, you need to be treated like lepers. We need to exile you from humanity. And I, I think uh, that's what needs to happen. I think that these people that were being ruled by people who are not human. They're not. Okay? And whether you think that there's some kind of body snatched aliens, masked people, or I don't care what you want to call them, there is nothing humane about the leadership of this world. There is nothing human or humane about any of it. None of it. Every leader has failed us. Everyone. The systems have failed us. Everyone's, everyone's being failed. And, and it doesn't make sense because this world is designed to be infinitely abundant and recycle itself. It's, 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 it's scarcity by design. And it's no need. It's so simple with the technology we have that everyone can be taken care of. No one has to suffer like this. It's, it's manufactured suffering by a, a freaking, the normal way to say it, some kind of satanic cult that runs the world. Whether they're brainwashed by evil or there's a toxoplasmosis infection that's linked to cluster B disorders, that there's some kind of like mutated infection of a toxoplasmosis which causes cluster B, that's my theory. Because about 20 years ago when I was studying this stuff, there is a link, there's a, 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 it's such a statistical link to the amount of infection of toxoplasmosis that was cluster B. And there must be a genetic switch that some people that have this infection get that. Because there's too many people. And you see bloodlines, you have, oh, there's a gnosis and empath. Oh. So it's either spiritual warfare or some kind of in infection. Whatever the hell it is, we got the good people have to stand up and take over. Okay? And you have to start doing it through common sense and use their systems against them. You can't do it with violence. You can't do it with confrontation. You have to do it with the, the quiet stick, which is a pen. Okay? You have to get all the good people together okay, and start committing warfare. The same way that the bad guys are throwing everything at you, you have to fight back. Okay? You have to stand up and fight back. Okay? And it's not with violence. Violence is always the very last answer when there's nothing left. There, you shouldn't be proud of going around and popping hajis. Okay? You do because you have no choice. Right? There's no choice. You have to figure out how to do things peacefully. And there's more good people in the world than there are evil people. The problem is good people have been convinced that Jesus, like of all people, would you know, get smacked in the face and take it. It's not what he did. Okay? He flipped tables and whipped ass. Drank wine and whipped ass. Tell me I'm wrong. 
I want anybody to go into the Bible and tell me I'm wrong that Jesus wasn't a sarcastic motherfucker who drank wine, flipped tables, and beat people's asses. Okay? That was Jesus. How did he become, oh, get turned in the cheek, oh, got to be a slave, oh. Okay? So you're doing this everywhere. And we're running out of freaking time. This is not a good time to be alive and be a good person, you know, because your, your, your communication networks are cut. You forgot how to talk to each other. You forgot how to, you know, even the martial artists forgot how to save face. They don't even know what safe face means. You know, you have, you know, most of the Bashi, they don't even know what that means. <coughs> so many of these, like, masters on YouTube never sat down with the master and drank the tea. They don't even know what that means. Okay? They don't understand any of it. Everyone's faking it, you know? So, I don't know where to start with, with, with you people, but I really, I'm really worried, <laughs> okay? Because we don't have much time left. We really don't have much time. If you look around with what's going on, it doesn't matter if you think the world leaders are a conspiracy, you know, a conspiracy theory or it's just an organic manifestation of psychopathy and sociopaths that game together and rule the world, okay, and it's just accidental. Whatever it is, it needs to be stopped immediately, okay? The leaders of this world are drunk on power or something. Something's wrong. They don't even look like the people in the populations, okay? These people don't look like us. They don't talk like us. Why are they ruling over us? Why? Why are these mutants, these fucking mutants that have no humane aspect to their soul, ruling over your humanity? And why are the good people just taking it? Why is it, oh, because you know, they, they take their military forces and they start smacking you up. Or they go and they get the, uh, the bad people to take over your towns and like rape, rob, and kill you and, and, and burn down your stores. You know? So what's the answer? So the first answer I would tell you would be lawfare. The smartest of you, those with like, you know, like law degrees, why aren't you getting together? Where are all the goddamn lawyers who are like, you know, good people on the right hand path who are religious people? Why aren't they banding together and fighting? That's what needs to happen. All of you spiritual community people who watch me, who have like millions of fucking followers, where are your lawyers? Where are the lawyers in the community? Why aren't they fighting for Kwan Yin? Okay, why aren't they fighting for Jesus and, and you know, Muhammad and whoever the hell? Where the hell are you guys? What are you fucking doing? What are you doing? Because if you guys don't stand up and use the system against them, okay, it actually, look what's happening to me, okay? Like, literally, if one fucking lawyer was to side take my case pro bono, I could probably shut down all social media. Me by myself. With what with happened to me and all the witnesses and everybody that was following me at the time, 500 people got banned the day before the election because of me. Because of me. At the same time, all right, because I was, I was covering the election, okay? And, you know, I, that's just one little fragment of what's happened to me. Where the fuck are you guys? Okay? Well, and you see things that are happening to these organizations, these people, and you see the lawfare being done by the evil people, because they're so evil, it's so obvious. You see their faces, you can see the evil on their faces. Why are the good people all cowering and isolated? You gotta get together, and you gotta do it fast, man. You gotta do it fast. You got like a couple of weeks left, man. You know, it's like there's so many things happening that are not even part of their, you know, masterful agenda shit. They're just like, where's the chaos? You know? There's just so much chaotic instability, you know, levels of stupid. And, you know, I don't know what to do with it. But it's hurting my heart and my soul, guys. So. That's my message of the day. You know, if anybody's gonna come through questions, you know, I, I can't see the chat thing from here. I'll look on the screen. All right. If you have any um, come through questions or any related questions, you know, throw them up, chat, do the thing. I'll stick around for a minute, but I gotta get back to uh, trying to survive life. <laughs> I'm surviving the dream, my, my friends. I'm surviving the dream. So, any questions or comments or accusations before I stop preaching? Getting myself kicked off the internet again. Anybody? Nobody? All right, well, sorry, I granted. I need to get off my chest, and hopefully, my closest friend will hear me. Yeah. 
If you guys really support my stuff, I need you guys to start sharing it and liking everything, okay? You have to help me like break the system. Because if YouTube, I have the pictures, just look at my community tab and look at the post that I made. The trolls should be defending me. Even the guys who come to fucking troll me, who are jealous of me and trying to take me down because they're egos, they should be defending me right now. I'm the canary in the coal mine. Don't you guys see that? All of you should be binding up behind me right now. Like, you really should, because if you don't see how bad this is and how much trouble this is and how it's going to affect you, even the guys who you think that your channels are safe, let's just give YouTube the benefit of the doubt. It's just the system is broken. The algorithms are broken. The, you know, the back end is broken. Their engineers suck. This is a serious problem, okay? You can't trust that you're getting your money. You can't trust that you have this are working. You can't trust to get the right amount of likes. That's the fundamental service YouTube's providing, and that means that there's billions of dollars that have been finagled. That's a lot of trouble, okay? And if a, a retarded lawyer should be able to start a class action lawsuit and really piss them off, all right? So that's all I gotta say. But for, on, on my personal level, me being uh, selfish, because I just wanna stick it to the man, like, share, subscribe, and start actually doing stuff, guys. I need your help, okay? I've been busting my ass here for years for you people. I don't get paid. I rarely get donations. I don't even really ask them. I put it up there, but I don't, I don't ask. <coughs> you know? And many times you guys want to, I tell you not to. But the point is, I don't have much time left here. So I need you guys to stand up and do stuff, okay? Look at the community tab and look what I'm talking about, all right? Like, they're literally hiding and making it look like I don't have any support. Do you understand, on social engineering level, what they're trying to do, okay? How, how devious what they've done is. And most guys that they do this to, they wind up self-deleting. I am way too stubborn, you know? I've survived too much. I'm not gonna come, I, I'm gonna go until the wheels fall off, all right? So, I appreciate you guys, and uh, I hope this was informative. <laughs> I hope it was helpful. And I'm really sorry that I've, I've been sloppy in the last couple of weeks, man. I am so tired. Okay, carrying the dog out to fucking run the bathroom seven, eight times a day, you know, like, it, it, was, it was really heartbreaking to see him not be able to stand on his legs. So the fact that he's walking today, it just, I'm grateful. So, and I'll leave you with this, you know, every day practice, practice asking, you know, what are you grateful for? Okay, and three times a day, go and say, uh, you know, I'm, what are you grateful for? Because we had a discussion in the Discord about happiness. And, and love, and I'm gonna leave you with this. If you chase happiness or you chase love, love is a vacuum, love is evil, okay? Love is narcissistic, it's always a one-way thing. You wanna, what people should think of as love is gratitude. You gotta be grateful for the people in your life, grateful for anything you have. Practice what are you grateful for, okay? And hopefully that will be uh, the reason why you come together, like, and, and be grateful for your communities and the people that should be supporting and you have the chance to support, right? I'll see you guys, take care.